Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video, in our, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with coordinate geometry of the line uh, is going to, uh, I suppose it's going to present how to calculate the area of a triangle uh, when you've been provided three vertices and none of the vertices is the origin. Okay? So we do have a formula. We have a formula uh, that allows us to uh, to calculate the area of a triangle. Okay, So the area, let's say, uh, the area, I'll just say maybe the area of a triangle, maybe something like this, is equal to a half times the absolute value of x1 times y2 minus uh, x2 times y1 okay but the thing about this formula is is that it it requires three vertices where one of the vertices is the origin okay so uh, we require requires requires three vertices of the triangle with with one being with one being being the origin Okay. In other words, one of the vertices needs to be zero, zero. Okay. So what happens when we have three vertices and none of them are zero, zero? Okay. Uh, how do we calculate the area of a triangle in that case? Just as an example, here's three vertices here, uh, just plotted on an x, y in the x, y coordinate system. Okay. Uh, the coordinates of this point here, the first point here is well, it's three in the x direction and it's four in the y direction. So this point here is the point three, four. This point up here is 8 in the x direction and it's 7 in the y direction so this is 8 7 okay and finally this point here which is 9 in the x direction and 5 in the y direction is 9 is 9 5 okay, so that gives these three points form a triangle for us okay so we have a triangle here okay uh, formed by these three vertices and what we want to do is we want to calculate what the area of this triangle is so we'd like to calculate the area of this specific triangle. Now, unfortunately, we can't use this particular formula here because okay, the reason why we can't use this formula is because this formula requires three vertices, with one of them being the origin. Okay, but what we could actually do is this: is we could shift, we could shift this triangle from here down to here. Okay, where one of the vertices becomes the origin, and we know how to do these shifts. These shifts are called translations. Okay. And in a previous video, I've shown you how to actually how to actually do a translation through a point. But I suppose in this case here, we're going to do a translation to a point. Okay. So what we'll actually effectively do is we'll take uh, the point three four and we'll transform that from here. Okay. We'll transform that down to the origin uh, zero zero. So how do I get three four? How do I get the point three four? to the origin is the question that I need to ask okay and whatever I do to the point three four okay to move it to the origin what I'll do is I'll do the exact same operations uh, on the point eight seven and on the point nine five okay to move them to new positions so how do I get from three three four to zero zero well if if I take three away from the x ordinate yeah so if I instead of the x being a tree if I reduce it by three that brings me that brings me well it brings me here and then if I reduce the y coordinate by four that brings me down to the origin so there's there's a move I could add three onto the x component and I could take four away from the so I could add minus three onto the x component and I could add minus four onto the y component and the effect of that would be to bring three minus three gives me zero four minus four gives me zero so here's the transformation that we're going to use now, under this exact same transformation or translation, okay, what happens to eight seven? Well, eight seven. Okay, well, eight seven is taken to some value. Where is it taken to? Well, it's based off this minus three minus four operation that we 